Notice, but I have been posting some shorts to try to give like a small little update to lead up to this one big video where I'm going to pretty much touch bases on my move to Miami, Florida. Um, I've been getting questions about my mirror dry treatment that I got um, a little while back. Um, I've been getting questions about returning as far as um, facial like aesthetics videos and then I've gotten some responses regarding um the two shorts I posted and asking you guys how do you feel about a slight switch or transition in our channel so I am going to first say hello I am so happy to be back and posting content on YouTube I promise you guys, I'm going to try my absolute best to be more consistent, but I just have to be transparent with you guys. Firstly, um, before we dive into the other subjects that I want to talk about, um, it's been a lot going on. Um, the transition from North Carolina to Miami was not easy at all. And I'm sure any one of you have who have ever moved from state to state know exactly what I mean by that, especially when we moved with such a large quantity of people i mentioned in a video in the past that it wasn't just my um, husband and my kids we also had to move um, my husband's in-laws and then my mom followed suit short after so um it's been a whirlwind but um months later um i am working right now full-time as a esthetician of course um i do run my business on the side golden out skin our products um and then last september i had mentioned to you guys or sometime around that that i had recently launched my jewelry business which i am currently in the process of reopening that and uh, launching a new collection with that as well. So um, it's been a lot going on. I am sick right now, guys. I'm at the like wit's end of whatever I had. I'm not really sure. It, I didn't, I don't have COVID or didn't have COVID, um, but I did hear that there's possibly like some type of virus floating around South Florida right now. And of course it had to come to me. <laughs> So, um, excuse my voice and if I sound nasally or if you hear me doing this sniffling because I am like at the very end of the sickness. So, I'm, I am feeling a lot better. Um, so, let's kind of just dive right in, shall we? Okay, so I guess I will touch bases on um, or go off of I think the last full length video that I posted which was regarding the apartment tour. Um, I think the last thing I showed you guys was, was us actually moving in, but I never showed you the finished apartment. And that is because I didn't finish it. <laughs> um, this, how can I say this? The move and uh, the apartment and everything is, we're settled in, but it's just not, um to a point where I feel comfortable like showing the apartment. My room is pretty much put together. There's just like my mirrors and things and I just decided to not put up because we're not gonna stay here after, uh, we're not gonna stay in this apartment after the, the lease is up in a year. So I just felt like it wasn't really necessary for me to show you guys a full apartment tour just because I know we're not staying here after a year and um, and so I just decided to just box up most of my decor and not even put it up so that we didn't have to bother by it. So let's just, I'm clearing the air on that, which is why I didn't do an apartment tour. However, um, I can show you guys my room in another video of how I have like my dresser organized. All of my furniture we got from Ikea. Um, and then like 
you know, I have my jewelry and my golden owl skin stuff like up there. I have my pompous grass. It's it's really basic, you guys. My room is boring. Black furniture, um, neutral colored covers, as you can see in the back. Um, we decided to a platform bed with no headboard and yeah, so it's pretty basic, really nothing to see. But if you guys really want to see my room, I will show you guys my room, of course. Um, and as far as what I've been up to in the last few months since moving, um, adjusting to life, um, North Carolina and Florida, Miami, Florida specifically is just, it's very different. Um, it was a huge culture shock, guys, moving here um, from where I, you know, where I'm from, where I grew up. Uh, the people are different here. Um, it's different. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's just, it's been an adjustment, but we are enjoying the weather. The weather here is so beautiful. Um, and we have access to so many fun things to do um, at, with my husband and my kids. And um, we've been having a good time so far. But um, obviously, there's, there's pros and cons to every state, no matter where you live. Um, and as far as the cons, we've just made, we've been making the best out of the cons, pretty much. Um, but yeah, like I'm working full time as an esthetician right now for a company. Um, don't know how long I'll be there. You know me, you know how I am, guys. I will hop around somewhere if I'm not feeling it. You know me. Um, I do have intentions on some day reopening a location. I don't know if it's going to be in Miami, Florida, but, um, I do have plans to open up a location once, you know, we, I pretty much get my ducks in a row, but my main focus right now is just adjusting, um, to Florida, filling Florida out, um, trying to meet new people, um, and then doing what I love to do. And then, of course, doing Golden Isle Skin business on the side. Um, and then Sade & Co., I did mention before that I launched a jewelry line as well. So um, my focus is just that, guys. I've been chilling other than um, a few sicknesses in between, but I just think that that's just my body um, adjusting. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me turn this iPad down. Um so yeah like it's it's been a whirlwind but an experience nonetheless and um we're enjoying it so that's what i've been up to these past few months nothing too major um and then I, i'm looking at my ipad notes so i don't miss anything uh what has changed let's see um nothing has changed really much um my mom is finally here with us in florida um i know in the last video i posted there had been a lot of things that had happened with us moving here and i don't know if i actually talked about it um but i don't think that what happened when we moved here is fitting for this particular video um, and I don't really know if I'll ever even talk about it, honestly, because it's so personal to our family. But, um, yeah, it was, it's, it was a lot, uh, moving here. But other than that, nothing has really changed from the last update. I'm still doing me. I'm still doing the things that I enjoy to do. Um, and I guess now I can talk about <laughs> the mirror dry um treatment that i got a while back so i got some comments for an update i think it's it's been two years oh. like if i'm not mistaken it has possibly been two years mm -hmm. since um since i got that treatment and you guys blah like it's not worth it um i will say that Initially, when I first got the treatment for those first um, few months, it was amazing. The swelling took a while to go down. Um, the soreness on the, on the arm took a while to go down. But those first few months, you guys, it was literally like the best invention on this planet Earth. Um, but after some time, unfortunately, depending on how severe your hyperhidrosis is, it will... Um, 
wear off and at year two to me it has completely worn off um no i will say that that i don't if it still works if it does anything still at this point i don't just sweat randomly anymore like before with hyperhidrosis i would i would be in the house doing absolutely nothing and i would just start sweating for no reason um and then you know with the older issues or whatever but now um i can walk around my house no deodorant sometimes i can even walk outside in this hot hot 80 90 degree weather in florida and be perfectly fine um but um if it's like too hot or i'm too overheated or i'm too anxious or anxiety is kicking in then unfortunately i will start sweating but um the good thing about that is i don't deal with odor issues but hear me out with this um any one of you who have hyperhidrosis and you're dealing with order i really need for you to comb through your diet uh, what I realized as I've gotten older um, and I have been dealing with this issue for as long as I can remember since, you know, preteen years, um, what you eat has to come out. So if you have a high diet and processed junk food, greasy food, garlic, onions, things like that, if you have a high diet and those things that are just not good for you or that can tend to make you smelly like onions garlic red meat especially if when you eat those things it kind of just comes out of your pores that also includes the underarms um that can include down there if you have issues with odor down there um smelly feet like what you put in your body has to come out and one of those ways that the body um removes those toxins is through your pores and you will get smelly so if you're dealing with hyperhidrosis my advice to you is to cut down on high sugar high greasy processed no good foods um, and incorporate more water-based foods like your fruits watermelons and then obviously drink your water um but yeah like i'm not gonna lie to you after two years mm, it's, it doesn't work anymore, unfortunately, if you have a more severe case of hyperhidrosis. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's kind of like what I've been up to these past couple months. Um, I would love to start pumping out aesthetics videos again. But unfortunately, where I work, because I do work, work for a corporate company, I am not allowed to record clients there. So um, what I can do in between time is maybe have some close friends of mine come by because I still have all of my equipment, y'all. So I can always do facials at home just to show you guys some of my new techniques I've picked up, what I've been doing with skincare. And then um, obviously I can always show you guys my skincare routine and how I've been caring for my acne skin. Uh, what I've been doing for my body care um, But you can also follow my Instagram too to keep up with some of those updates as well So yeah guys, I just wanted to pop in give you an update I promise I won't go another six seven months without speaking to you guys and give you an update But I highly highly encourage you to follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram And you'll get in touch with me and keep up with me a lot more on there okay so i love you guys thank you much thank you thank you much thank you so much for watching and subscribing and supporting this channel even though i have not been consistent but i will be back okay um love you guys bye